Oliver Hutchinson. Uh, I would say I am a person who is involved, heavily involved in music. I've always been heavily involved in music. In terms of I teach, I am a performer, and I also create. So there are three facets of Ava in the music line. Um, I have done many things. I've always been involved in things because I'm a person who thinks I love to do what makes the heart sing. That's my thing. So I'm always off and trotting. I get up with an idea and I don't feel happy unless I do it. So um, that's me in a nutshell. So I've done many things. I've done, um, I'm special, I'm me CD for children. I do a lot of things for children in music uh, education uh, facet. And I also did a book, an inspirational book for women called 52 Facets of Women, where you gentlemen I know love that book. <laughs> So, so you can get a, an insight into women a bit more. And I, I also did, my last thing I did was moral ditties for children. Uh, where, you know, all the thing about don't touch me and that sort of thing. Because that seems to be very prevalent now in society. This concert was a special time for me because I wanted to share it with, shall I say, the public or the world um, in terms of the fact that I, was, I had health issues ongoing for about two years and I decided, you know what, I've done the, 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 the children's stuff and so this one's for me. So I wanted to, I've been writing songs through my journey in life, you know, all sorts of different things that came to me and I decided I must go out there and share my music with with the world so I that's what I did I got up a morning and I thought this is it and I started the whole thing of practicing because I had a lot of the music in, in manila folders so I had to take them out fine-tune them and I wrote some more and there's one very special because after the after the illness and so I wrote the healing which is every time I, I play it I get goosebumps you know It all came about because every two weeks I rehearse with the group called the Jazz Pickle. We've been together for years and we have Ralph Davies comes along and we play music because we just love what we do in terms of jazz. We play all sorts of standards, we sit there, we listen, we laugh, we have fun just playing. Let's play this one, let's play the other one. So when I thought of the concert, I thought, you know, originals are something that the public, they, they might enjoy it but it might be a little overwhelming. So I thought, well, I'll do the songs, but I'll also do the Jazz Pickle, which is the band with members, Faye Husbands on drums, Ian Henderson on sax, uh, myself singing and playing, and Harold Richards on bass, upright bass. And then Ralph Davies is such a treasure. He's a wealth of knowledge. He's played, people used to go on his porch every Sunday, Kitchener, all those people, Larry Atwell, and they would just have a ball playing music every Sunday morning. And I thought, you know, the public does not really know about Ralph Davies because he's been on low profile for a little while. But when we have our sessions, Ralph's fingers, let me tell you, he's going to be 89 on the 27th of October. But Ralph, you know, we all sit there going, oh, ah, show me that, Ralph, you're showing off. But he, his fingers tell the story. And I wanted to um, put him in the concert as well. So I had myself singing songs, then I had the Jazz Pickle, and then I had Ralph Davies and Friends. And with the Friends came Timothy Newton, who sang Moody's Mood for Love, one of the band, Faye Husbands, she sang. You know, it was a sort of inbuilt thing. People showed their talents. So um, 
by the way, the band, my band who uh, accompanied me, I must say, Roger Saloom on drums. Then we had Doug, Dougie Radon on upright bass, electric bass, also on steel pan. And then we had uh, Neil Payne on guitar. And so it, it, it was a wonderful experience. And I'm so glad I decided to do it because it, it gave me, the compliments after the show was very heartwarming, I must say. It was received, I, can I say wonderfully well? Because <laughs> everybody's saying now, oh, well, this has to be an annual thing, you know. It has to be an annual thing. And I thought, mm-hmm, you don't know how much work this is. <laughs> but hard work has never fazed me. I've always been one that, as I said, if I have an idea, I don't rest. It's something in me until I do it. You know, I don't talk it. I just get up and do what I have to do. Do what makes your heart sing. Do exactly what makes your heart sing. Uh, keep getting inspired. Listen. Music is about listen, listen to others. Because when you listen to others, you hear different things. And, you, and be unique to what you do. Don't go copying. You have your own style. Sure, you listen and it can influence you. But you see the masters in music? Those are the ones that brought you to where you are. So I would say the most important thing are those two ears. One to listen and one to hear. And then the mouth to use it to what you've heard and to make your style unique.